the depth and uh, the cost. We made some changes, as you know, back then and uh, brought forward the proposal that kept the cost of $2.1 billion. And uh, I stand on the shoulders of a lot of other people who worked very hard on this project. And uh, I think people will ride the rails this afternoon and come away with a very positive impression that this project is worth the wait and some of the frustration that people went through. Uh, but uh, I think it's really a world-class project that has got the support of uh, all three levels of government and uh, the public. You alluded to this being a bit of an emotional day for you. Uh, is this a legacy thing for you, do you think, that you, you're able to stand today and see the, the one defining issue that we're probably defining your time here as well? Well, you know, look, a legacy is for, for others, historians and journalists to decide, not for politicians. I just feel very, very proud that uh, we've been able to work with our partners, the provincial government, the federal government. A lot of blood, sweat and, and tears went into this project. And when I got up there, it was emotional because, uh, you know, a lot of us have put a lot of hours and we've uh, got uh, bruised along the way. But uh, these are the, uh, the challenges when you're putting together such a complex project. You know, when, when we saw every station today, each one of those was a, a work, a major work of construction. And then the trains being assembled right here in Ottawa. And then uh, the tunnel going under the Rideau Canal. And so I think most people understood that this, this, there were going to be problems along the way. We didn't expect the sinkhole. And to have it all come together, uh, I think it, it actually is more rewarding, quite frankly, that we had those challenges because if it was smooth sailing, it would be a whole home and the system's open. It really tested our staff, it tested the construction workers and the politicians. And uh, I, I think most people will come away today with a very uh, proud sense of being a resident of Ottawa. Mais certainement, moi, je suis très fier, non seulement comme, comme le maire de la ville d'Ottawa, mais comme une citoyenne. Ça, c'est le plus grand projet d'infrastructure dans l'histoire de la ville d'Ottawa. Et euh, ça, c'est une occasion euh, très spéciale pour moi personnellement, mais aussi pour tous les élus et plus important pour tous les, les résidents de la ville d'Ottawa. C'est un moment très, très fier. state-of-the-art trains, 5G, uh, continuous connectivity, uh, the ability to expand, uh, those trains can, uh, can handle 30, 50 years of growth and capacity. Everything's been well thought out, and large transformational projects like this uh, are difficult, uh, and that's what uh, gets them to, to be what they are, great projects forever. The legacy on this project is 50 years from now, someone will say, somebody did something really great to position the city for forever. Alors, c'est un projet tellement important pour la ville, pour beaucoup de gens dans le futur. On a fait des choses tellement modernes, avec des compagnies tellement bonnes, comme Thales, qui est une compagnie du Canada. On a des trains légers qui sont tellement bonnes pour le futur. 
on, on a fait un tunnel avec la technologie pour euh, utiliser le cellulaire. Et c'est bon pour l'économie, c'est bon pour la ville, c'est bon pour euh, être une ville qui peut faire la communication dans le 20, 21 century. Mr. Mulroney, you grew up in Ottawa, riding the uh, train today, going through the tunnel, seeing those stations. I'm sure it doesn't look like the city you grew up in. I'm just wondering if you could talk a little bit about, you know, how, how you think it's changed the city. Well, it certainly doesn't look like the city that I grew up in. I grew up here, I grew up here many, many years ago. Um, and uh, I, you know, I was just so thrilled to be part of this big day. I know that the three levels of government have been working very, very hard to make today happen. I sense a lot of relief from people who are involved uh, as we are waiting for the train to take off to get moving. Uh, and then smiles uh, and excitement is clear. Um, it's going to change the city. It's gonna, the city has changed, but people are growing and the city's growing and people are coming here because it's a great place to live and it's a great place to work uh, and raise your family. And this gives people more options to get around and it will attract more and more people. So it positions Ottawa for uh, future growth uh, but it's really going to improve the quality of life of those who've been living here for so many years. And uh, so I, I was thrilled on behalf of the province of Ontario to be part of it. Cette annonce aujourd'hui, l'ouverture aujourd'hui, bien sûr, j'ai remarqué un grand soulagement euh, sur les visages de, de tous ceux qui étaient impliqués dans ce projet depuis très longtemps. Euh, mais aussi, quand le train a finalement commencé à bouger, j'ai vu que les gens étaient très excités. Et euh, ça reflète, euh, ce projet reflète vraiment la collaboration de, de trois paliers de gouvernement pour un projet qui est très important, qui va améliorer la qualité de la vie de ceux qui vivent ici présentement, mais aussi euh, c'est une ville qui attire beaucoup de gens et beaucoup de, de compagnies. Donc ça va continuer à bien positionner euh, la ville d'Ottawa pour, euh, pour l'avenir. Toujours engagé pour sa phase 2, le, le gouvernement de l'Ontario va continuer à travailler de très près avec euh, les, les deux autres paliers de gouvernement pour, euh, pour l'avenir de cette, de cette ville. Well, I think it supports all the uh, economic development that we've seen in Ottawa over the last few years, but it's going to create new opportunities. And we were talking as, as, we're, as we're riding the train about development that is already starting to see along the corridor. Um, it will allow companies, as they're looking where to set up, uh, they'll be able to look at Ottawa and say that their employees will be able to get around more easily. It will improve uh, the lives of those who are already working companies here, but it will make Ottawa a choice for, for other, for other companies. And so it's going to have a huge impact on the economic development opportunities in the city, but I think this is something that the mayor has probably been talking about now for a long time and is very well. So I think it's a great day. I think if you saw the uh, Blair Station, you saw an apartment building that's already uh, occupied, uh, and they have plans, that company has plans for four or five more towers. It allows people to move to different parts of the city that they never considered before. You know, when I was going to Carleton, the big desire was to get a, a house near Sunnyside Avenue so you could walk to the school. With the LRT now, you can move to the south end, the east end, the west end, find a place that's less expensive and hop on the train and get you right to campus. So I think it opens up a world of opportunities in terms of where development will take place. And certainly it's better for the environment. This is our single largest uh, project that's going to produce literally hundreds of thousands of tons of greenhouse gases. Let's go look ahead for Monday. Obviously the first real commute that we're going to see on the train. Well, there'll be fewer cameras on the train on Monday, I hope, and they took up a lot of space. But, uh, I, you know, look, at we're, we've been practicing this for months now. We'll have parallel bus service, uh, obviously, uh, for people to take buses for the next three weeks. But we encourage them to get off the bus, get on the train, and see how efficient the system is. And obviously, our staff will be monitoring from our control center, and we'll have uh, extra staff on the platforms and red vests to make sure people uh, know where to go and, and uh, which stop to get on. No, but certainly the mayor suppliant, George Drews, is responsible for my absence at the Bay Et certainement, M. Macron et tout, toute son équipe sont ici. J'ai dit à votre collègue uh, Adrian Harewood, I can't even change a tire on my car. So the fact that I'm away, uh, I, I wouldn't be in there fixing the train if, if something did go wrong. But I'll be available 24 hours a day. Will you be keeping an eye on how things run?
Oh yes, absolutely. In between meetings, I'll be on my uh, iPhone uh, just to make sure things go well. Because obviously, uh, I have, uh, I've got a lot at stake in this. I want to make sure that the system works as well as it did today. But I have great confidence that John and his staff have worked very, very hard to ensure first and foremost public safety is at the forefront. And if there's ever any risk to public safety, uh, he has the full authority uh, to shut the system down. But uh, it's, it's gone well the last couple of months and we're looking forward to the public this afternoon and then a full commuter service on Monday. I'm going to ask you about public expectations. Uh, no system is perfect. There will be down days. There will be difficult challenges ahead, certainly initially. Um, do you feel a need at all to maybe temper public enthusiasm and expectations a little bit here? Yeah, that's a good point, Rick. I try to do that in every um, media interview because there will be that one day, whether it's next week, the week after, the next year, where there'll be a medical emergency or there'll be an electrical failure or a, you know, some, some problem with the system. And just as every major system in North America, around the world, has challenges, you know, uh, TTC shuts down from time to time, the Montreal Metro system, we want to minimize those and we've done a lot of tests and retesting to, to assume uh, all scenarios, uh, but there will be that day where there will be a high level of frustration. We don't have the bus capacity to replace the train capacity, uh, and we will have to do our very best to rely on the goodwill of the public to ensure that uh, people get to work or get to school or get home safely. Are you going to be at 2 p.m.? Are you going to both be at 2 p.m.? Well, I know Alan Hubley and I, uh, where's right Alan? Right here. Uh, we're going to be riding the rails back and forth, uh, stopping at all the stations for the next few hours. I'm going to be in our command center with my executive team, monitoring everything. Est-ce que vous attendez du coup pour attendre à deuxième fin? Mais surtout mal la question au sujet de l'étape 2. Étape 2, ça coûte euh, plus cher, plus de 4 millions de dollars. Mais c'est moins compliqué parce qu'il n'y a pas un tunnel avec étape 2 comme euh, on a vu euh, en étape 1. Alors je pense que c'est euh, plus facile euh, parce que c'est euh, moins de activité euh, underground. Is it your hope to be around for phase two? Well, you know, phase two brings us farther east to uh, Trim Road, farther west uh, to Moody Drive and Algonquin College, and farther south to the airport, uh, Riverside South and the EY Center. And uh, we will start uh, discussions, and I've already had some political discussions with MPPs and MPs on phase three. We need to get out to Canada, Stittsville, and, uh, and Barhaven, because those are the fastest growing parts of the city, and, and people have been very patient. But we had to start at the, the, the center of the city and move outward. We've got the first 12 kilometers, and then phase two will bring dozens more kilometers, and then phase three. And then, of course, we've got to work with our STO partners uh, at, in Quebec because we want to make sure that all the people that work in Ottawa and live in Gatineau and vice versa have an easier access uh, across the river as they develop their electric system. Just about how long it's so heavy. Yes. Ben, C'est très positif, comme tu sais, on, on avait très, des très bonnes relations avec Maxime Pedneau-Jobin. On travaille ensemble, on avait un comité qui est responsable pour le transport en commun. Et euh, quand M. Pedneau-Jobin est prêt avec ses plans pour le train léger, on va discuter euh, euh, l'intégration des, des deux systèmes dans le centre-ville. Thank you all very much. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very, very much. You're going to catch a flight, so... Thank you. Thank you. What has been like the last few years? As you were saying, relief on the face of a lot of people. So again, on a personal level, I mean, I'm surrounded by a great team and a great executive team, and our frontline workers. Uh, the thousands of them that have been working on this uh, are dedicated, and so at the end of the day, leadership is easy when you've got a great team. Um, you know, you and all of you have been holding us to task on uh, this project, as you should. Uh, it's, a, it's a large investment uh, for the city, uh, but really my, uh, my head is around the customer and the customer experience. Um, I want them to have a pleasant uh, experience. There will be days when there's some instances, and uh, we've been planning and rehearsing and so forth. But I also want to you know, remind everybody, it's not the first system in the world. Uh, everybody's done this around the world, uh, large cities. Um, and so we've learned from them and we've, you know, we've done things that bring it up a notch. The reason I wanted to sell you in the tunnel is that so that we could tweet out to everybody if there is something 
Because on a rail system, what customers tell you and over and over again is, you know, a minute feels like an hour if you're stuck. And we wanted to have the communication systems in place so that I could get that information out to them, to you, to everybody. So we're very, very proud of the lessons we've learned from all of the best in class. Um, the, 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 the personal reflection here is uh, me wanting to articulate to everybody in Ottawa this is the first time this has been done in the world. That's what makes it complicated. That's what makes it exciting. Uh, that what, that's what tips it from other agencies that are saying they all wanted to do BRT to LRT conversions, but didn't figure it out. Ottawa figured it out. And you have great companies working on this. Yes, there's been challenges. We've proven ourselves through those challenges. Yes, there'll be hiccups in service. The team's ready to respond because everyone at OC Transpo cares about the customer and the taxpayer. And so, uh, as a leader of the organization, it's a proud moment. It's an honor to be part of this. And uh, the credit goes to staff. What will you personally remember as the biggest hurdle in this journey and the biggest win aside from launch day? Staying resilient. Uh, staying resilient and uh, looking for the outcome, looking for this day, looking for Monday, uh, because the outcome is transformation forever uh, for the city. I, I've grown up here. Uh, I've lived here many, many years. Uh, I used to ride the buses regularly when I was a young uh, kid going to school. Uh, and um, I remember working one of my first jobs, uh, looking at the first phase of BRT, and the vision was to convert it. And here I am standing uh, with it happening. So it's an honor. The hurdle part. Of the, the hurdle. The hurdle. Um, I didn't find it difficult. I found it uh, challenging from the perspective of. But there must have been a moment where you're like, okay, looking back, like, oh god, yes. <laughs> I don't want to take Via's question, but yeah. Well, look, the sinkhole was uh, was significant, but again, uh, Joanne, I remember that question from you that day. Um, nobody died. Nobody got hurt. Hundreds of people go through that stretch of roadway on buses and cars every single day. And it was open to transit and nobody got hurt. So, you know, you look at the positives of that. And yes, it was significant scope and scale. Uh, so that was a big, big hurdle. But the city again stepped up, got through it. RTG stepped up the science and the engineering. As critical as you've been uh, to RTG, what they've done on that sinkhole, restoring the ground there and then retunneling, there was people from around the world working on it, observing it. That was a significant hurdle. And the final push, uh, having to the tough stuff. It's easy to be uh, happy when uh, things are going well. Time when there's issues, there's going to be issues. Somebody's going to hold the door. Somebody's going to lose something. Uh, we've got, we've done all those drills. You've seen us in the last three weeks. Uh, or you heard about it. Um, so it's are. consistency and service. Safety will trump everything. Uh, and uh, content uh, customers. Is LRT going to become part of your commute? Uh, I'm going to try and fit it in as much as possible. I take it more on weekends than I do on weekdays. When I used to work down at City Hall, it was. Uh, and try and ask me if I had a bus pass and all that stuff. So, <laughs> uh, it, sorry, sorry. Right. Is this kind of an audition in a way for Monday? Opening on Saturday, Sunday, for a dress rehearsal? We did a bunch of dress rehearsals during the three week prep. Uh, today was significant in uh, recognizing from a ceremonial perspective the importance of this opening and then giving everybody a sense of the, the, the ride uh, and uh, getting the information out. So, Media outlets are here as part of the community, uh, as part of the exercise, launching it. And Sorry, it's just that some people have expressed a certain amount of wariness with the delays, with the sinkhole, with things like that. And this is, I guess, what are you hoping that having a couple of days before you hit the Monday commute, uh, what will that mean for, well, picking, for customers? You know, this is a great question. Picking a Saturday was a strategic move. It's, it's lighter loads. We want people to come out and try it out. And, you know, I, I felt the wrath of why isn't it a free day? It's not a free day because I don't want to inundate the system. I want people to have a good first experience. So lighter loads today and tomorrow. Uh, the openings at two o'clock give some time to have those festivities. I encourage you to get out to those. People can try it out, and then we're ready for Monday. Roughly, how many people were on Last the, question. Inaug the inaugural train ride? Because it was like standing room only. Well, basically. it depends which section of the train you're in. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I, 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 we're probably at around the 300. I'm not sure. Um, I don't have the final. There was about count. 500 people at that ceremony. So. Is that right? Yeah. So they would all be on that. And uh, you know, uh, in terms of volume. We open on Monday, by Thursday we move a million people. Thank you, you very much. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oui. 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 Uh, en français, oui. Je vais me demander si, uh, après tout ce qui s'est passé, oui. vous pouvez vous sentir uh, oui. relié, comme on dit, soulagé, non? Uh, J'ai un peu de sort, mais je suis plus content quand je garde uh, les passagers quand ils utilisent le système. Je veux garder ça pour tout le temps.
Et même d'ici à lundi, ça va être temps, vous allez être un peu inquiet? Ou... Oui, lundi, c'est une journée, une journée, tellement, une journée tellement difficile pour nous parce que c'est tellement beaucoup de passagers. Alors, on, nous sommes prêts. Euh, J'espère que toutes les choses travaillent comme elles doivent travailler. Mais si ça ne marche pas bien, on a des plans B et des plans C. Merci beaucoup. Okay, merci beaucoup. Merci. Okay, thank you. Merci. Thank you. So Troy Charter, Director of Transit Operations. So how are you feeling today about the opening? Uh, super excited. Uh, I know our customers have been waiting for this for a long time. So have our staff. I mean, uh, we wanted to get this going. We wanted it to showcase it for the city and uh, just great to get started. It's a great day. And what's your favorite station? Uh, it's hard to say. They're all so good. But you know what? My favorite one, I think, right now is uh, Bayview Station, especially at nighttime when you're looking towards the downtown, the downtown uh, core. But, uh, you know, I just like the train-to-train -train connection. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.